guys, so I just thought I would do a quick kind of um, update for Laura because I haven't done one for her since I think she was about like a year and a half old. I don't even think I did a two year one. So yes, this is a long awaited um, update on her and how she's getting on. I'm currently filming this in what will be the baby's room. No furniture in here yet so it's just basically dumping ground so I can only apologise if you can see all this rubbish. Just now Laura is three years and three months old. Um, my birthday is in obviously in December, so since last time obviously she's toilet trained, that's probably one of the biggest thing. Um, she uses the toilet all the time, um, she's been toilet trained since probably before Christmas definitely, so it's been about six months fully trained without any accidents. Um, we have been trying since she was about two and a half, because I did try when she just turned two and she just wasn't ready for it then. I tried it two and a half and since then she's been absolutely fab and um, still wears pull-ups during the night time so that's my next kind of mission I want that to be done before the baby comes we did basically no work to do it and um, she just kind of got it herself really we never used a potty she just used the toilet from the get-go because she didn't like the potty at all so yeah I might do like a video of how I potty trained even though I didn't do anything <laughs> But yeah, that might be a thing. Once we've mastered the night time, I think I might make a video. Her speech is coming on so much. Like, before I was quite concerned that her speech was quite, not delayed, like, um, because obviously on YouTube, you're following mums that have a child that's the same age as yours. Sometimes um, you can see them just sp speaking absolutely fluently. And I was like, oh my God, Laura's not like that. Um, she's always been quite quiet. And she didn't really speak much at all um, but now she's her speech is just amazing nursery because she goes to nursery full-time because me and Mike work full-time <coughs> and they said that they noticed a massive difference and like she's just so chatty they can't even shut her up now so yeah she's definitely a lot better now um, obviously you know, every kid develops at a different stage but it did concern me I'm not gonna lie it did definitely concern me but yeah, she's absolutely fine now and her speech is probably where she should be at this moment. So that's always a good thing. In the three to four years clothes, some of her clothes are to five, but that's just because I like to put her in lesser clothes and I don't know. <laughs> that's just my my personal thing. She has an amazing imagination. She's so good with imaginative play, like she'll play with like mummies and daddies and she'll I don't know, she's just so good with using her imagination and like I love seeing it and you can see her playing with her dolls and like giving them voices and I'm like oh. It became a fussy eater for a while. She always was a massively good eater. She'd eat anything that was put in front of her and she was just so good. She started going through a phase where she would hardly eat anything. Um, we did the whole like not giving her snacks during the day, just giving her meals and she still wouldn't eat it. So I just didn't know what was going on. Um, the last few months she has definitely gotten better. She's still not the best eater, like she won't eat as much, she'll only eat snacks so we're just stopping snacking, giving her snacks unless she eats her tea or eats like her lunch or whatever. She loves Peppa Pig, anything Peppa Pig and she's there and Ben and Holly, she's just obsessed. She's like any time that the tea is on she's like oh, I want Peppa on, can I have Peppa on? I was like oh yeah of course. She hasn't had a pram since she was two years old. Um, she started to refuse going in the pram. I was almost like, God, so we just decided to chuck it away. We were like, right, okay, well, we're getting it away. Sometimes, now I wish we still had the pram for just for easiness, because it's so easy just to chuck them in the pram and just like not worry about them running off. But yeah, she's very independent. She wouldn't sit in a pram, she just likes to run around, well, like just be walking herself. So yeah, we've not had a pram in about a year and three months. She's good for car space because we don't need to worry about putting that in the car. But yeah, it sometimes is quite frustrating when you just want to nip to, to a shop. Drawing is getting really good. Like she can draw like faces and people. Um, obviously it's still like stick men, but it's getting really good. Um, and she like she loves blocks. She loves to draw anything that she can. Like that's her favorite thing to do. Um, yeah, it's all kind of like coming together and she's just such a little little girl now she's not a baby she's not she's definitely not a baby anymore she is a little girl <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned that she was in a big girl bed in my last update I think she's been in that since about 18 months and she's had no problems at all like literally no problems at all 
she still goes to bed at about half past six till about between half six and seven that's her bedtime um, and she usually wakes up about half six seven in the morning so it's not too bad um obviously with the lighter in the mornings she, she did start coming up at like half five it's like no no but as the the nights got darker she started to sleep in more so which was always good but now it's coming up to the lighter days again so just pray for Bethy. I don't really think there's much else to say right now um obviously in this year my main thing is also I'm going to be in maternity leave I want to start her on swimming lessons or like a football club or something like an after school activity so that's what I want to kind of start her on because now I'm like off work I can actually take her to things so yeah, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!